Well, as your student, your kid, your son, your daughter, and colleges get set to go back in for another season there, sharpen your pencils and get your pens and paper and markers out because it's ready for another school year. Colleges go in tomorrow. Uh, they go in Wednesday, September the 4th, and regular um, schools go in September 3rd. Just some things to make a note is that uh, in a school zone, it's 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, in school zones during uh, school days, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And there are definitely some new rules that you need to know in case your kid is cheating or he's breaking the rule and the principal calls you, uh, you know, down. The BC government has banned uh, the use of smartphones, tablets, earbuds, and smartwatches during school hours. Will be forced, and it will be forced the first week of classes. Premier David Eby announced that mandate in January, telling all 60 BC school districts to update their code of conduct uh, by the start of the 2024-25 school year to include um, language around personal uh, digital use. Wanting to keep kids safe, that's why this policy is in there. The ban on personal devices was introduced by EB to improve online safety for children and youth. The government said research shows that frequent cell phone interruption in the classroom, social media platforms with addictive algorithms and predators who seek to exploit young people all present significant risk to young people. Studies have found that children's mental health and physical safety can suffer as a result of body image uh, distortion, cyberbullying, images shared without uh, consent, and disturbed instances of sex sextortion. According to the government's 2023 uh, health survey, 75% of students use social media on the last day before taking the survey, and 90% played games. So, yes, make sure your uh, son, your daughter, Anyone that you know, if you're a grandparent there, that they are not using their cell phone and they're not texting, uh, you know, mom, dad, or their uh, girlfriend or anything like that, or friends during class. Because if you are caught, uh, there is absolutely big consequences for this. Um, it says there are exemptions to the ban. Each district must also add to their code. Uh, devices uh, use are acceptable. Code of conduct will were required to allow devices for instructional purposes, including digital literacy, and to accommodate students who only access uh, to the internet is at school. The codes m must also allow device use for students with disabilities or other needs and who have individual education plans. Device use for monitoring health is also permitted. So the big question here is BC Teachers Federation boss Clint Johnson says rules around cell phone use in schools should be dealt with on a school district level, not to be dictated by government. And he goes on to say in, in BC, many school districts have long had policies about cell phones. This is an issue best dealt with at the level or even classrooms or even classroom to classroom in partnership with teachers. Johnson said, well, some teachers enjoy using cell phones as a learning tool. Others find them to be distraction. Johnson said there are other problems in classrooms that are high priority than electronic devices. So you got the uh, BC, you got the BC Teachers Federation. They're saying that there are other priorities than a cell phone. Um, cell phone is also can be used for of course, um, emergencies. If if you if you are sick, you're ill. I mean, are you going to be running in grabbing that corded phone that your teachers got uh, and calling mommy or daddy uh, to come pick you up because you're sick? 
I mean, having a cell phone is just makes it that simpler just to push the button and boom, uh, they're on their way. So of having to wait for them to pick up or having to press nine and then dial out. Um, I, I think uh, that uh, many teachers are speaking out. Uh, there is actually one district that has said we're not going to mandate this rule. It's a ridiculous David Eby a rule. He's a, a dumb premier. He doesn't deserve to be in power, and he doesn't deserve to tell students what to do. Um, so, yeah, that district, I'm not going to mention the district's name, but they have basically said, no, they're not. They said, and if government wants to find that district, go for it. The education minister is going to be making rounds, making sure that the rule is enforced and that uh, students are listening to what their teacher is saying. This school district said, well, don't bother coming to our district because, uh, you know, you won't be welcomed with open arms. Yes, there's already backlash uh, from some parents. Um, but it's good to know that people with disabilities, uh, people who are on um, individual programming, can, of course, uh, you know, use a cell phone. But the thing is, is all they need to say and get a doctor's note that, hey, they have a disability. I mean, do you want to have that where they've got it from their doctor? I mean, uh, this is a fight that is students versus government. And I don't think it's the students versus the teacher because the teachers are not going to be, um, you know, they're not going to be putting up a fight to the student. They're just going to let that student use a cell phone. That teacher's just going to, okay, well, you take it up with the BC government. Um, and, um, and, I, and, I, and if I'm the education minister and I'm the premier, I'm looking at this going, we've got other issues on the school. We're allowing drugs in our school. We're allowing um, music, you know, loud music in classrooms. We're allowing, uh, you know, um, homeless people and shelters, you know, to camp out with their s'more box and a, um, you know, and fires. Do we really want to go down, uh, you know, this road? And and I and I think it I think it boils down to that uh, cell phones. They can have there's pros and cons to cell phones, but uh, banning them is only going to put the pressure on the teachers. And I think what the BC Teacher Federation Johnson was saying, Clint Johnson, saying uh, that hey, you know, like. There's other things like you're you're basically taking the enjoyment of a student. I think if somebody um, is abusing it, then I could see them enforcing it there. But don't tar everybody with the same brush and put them in the same paint, uh, you know, as everybody else is. They're bad kids. I think that uh, make a rule that if you abuse if you abuse and you are caught and you are, are not uh, doing a good job in school, then we're going to have to, um, you know, not have you bring a cell phone and you will be watched. But I think, I think by, um, I think by, um, you know, uh, making this for every student is just totally unfair. Um, so anyways, your kid goes back to school with the smelly sandwiches, with the, uh, ham sandwiches there with salami, uh, with the chips and the canteen opens up and everything like that. And, um, the other thing to note is, uh, uh, that now, uh, food prices at your son or daughter's high school is going to go up by about, uh, 20% as there is now government fees involved. So when you purchase that sandwich, um, there is a, a percentage that goes to it there. So it could be anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar uh, of that. That's why you're going to see it paying more. So that 
chips is ain't going to be 50 cents it's going to be a dollar 25 probably 25 cents that goes to the uh government and uh, that sandwich that was uh five dollars is going to be now a seven dollar sandwich which a dollar fifty is uh, going to be going uh to the government they're now collecting off canteens um you're also going to notice that there is dress codes in certain schools that they have brought in school. Certain uh, school districts have a dress code where uh, dresses have to be a certain height. Um, jeans are, um, you know, only permitted on that. And that's in certain uh, school districts there. I think in the Vancouver area, there are nothing in the Okanagan or the island or north or the Kootenays. So we've got nothing to worry about. Um, but uh, you're going to notice a big change. And um, we're definitely going to see a higher cost of back to school uh, living. It's costing the average parent $1,500 per student as last year it was $800. Um, if your kid is going to college, well, tuition's gone up. You're noticing the cost of uh, pencils, pens, paper, binders and everything like that has increased uh, significantly there. Um, and of course, course costs. Then we got to look at the course costs there. And that cup of coffee you buy every morning with that muffin, uh, that's going to go up. And again, the reason for that is because government has decided to dip into the pockets and want some money. I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy yeah Media. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And um, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a very interesting uh, school year. But back to school. And uh, like I said, enjoy. <laughs>